And they're really slow. I'm really scared. Um, let's see. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another Siege video. We are up against F Legends in Squad Zero. Really, really OP opponents. And we are rank 11 in uh, F Legends, it's rank 2. In Squad Zero, it's rank 4. So uh, our ex guildies over here, uh, they're running these defenses, which is uh, Dark Siri with Witra and then Light One. Uh, over here, it's Iris. But over here, it's uh, four of, of the wolfies <laughs> and over here dark siri with uh, savannah over here bianchos and over here some uh, dark cassandra with uh, bianchol and tessaria most of, mostly and over here as well the same uh, the same stuff so i reserved this attack and let's pick the team and let's see how it, how it goes okay i'm gonna be using uh, feng yang like this with elia and uh, Leo, everybody it's on minus uh, wind because she will be defense breaking and this guy will be dealing some damage and uh, Feng Yang it's uh, only on additional by defense so um, um, let's actually try to push back okay okay she will go for the defense breaks okay that's fine I can cleanse this Take it slowly. Okay, he stole a revenge. <laughs> um, yeah, let's cleanse. It's most importantly to have the, the cleansing. Okay, he'll have S2. Okay, he derped. Let's go for him. Really nice damage, dude. Holy, what the heck. So much damage from, from <laughs> Feng Yang. Uh, let's put the dot. Um, she has S3? I'm not sure. Okay, if she procs again, she will have it. Okay, don't proc, so don't heal. Uh, it's fine. Okay, he stole again everything, almost. And he died to the dot, that's nice. Now we focus down, uh, whatever. Probably this Manon. <coughs> Not Manon, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, let's actually try to defense break, nice. Put some dots and stuff, S2. Yeah, just not force it. Just slowly work on it. Mm, S1. S1. Nice damage. Okay, we can do the S4. But he will probably has his uh, S2. Oh, wait. I, I go. Oh! Oh, he stole my defense buff again. That's kind of trash. Yep. Just slowly work on it. Oh, the procs are kind of annoying. Oh my goodness. Stop freaking proccing, man. Wow, so much damage, actually. What the heck? Let's do this. And let's cleanse this. <clears throat> let's do this one. Oh, this will be kind of lengthy. Okay, he didn't steal anything. Wow, I'm proccing a useless... uselessly? <laughs> Is that a word? Uh, this will take a year, man. And my guildies are already taking the... Another tower. <laughs> By the way, I think it's gonna be a really tough siege. We're probably gonna go 1v1 at some point. Wow, man. I, I think I need to work on this mana. Yeah, I mean, whoever I work on, I need to kill someone, you know. Let's defense break, nice. Okay, now we just wait for him to go. Um, yeah, let's heal up a bit. Okay, that's fine. I'll just, oh my goodness, he can steal it again. <gasps> At least he didn't steal my defense buff. Okay, don't go for Fang. Ugh. That's fine. Let's go for S2. Um, S1. Push back, please. Oh no. Don't proc. <sighs> Can I proc? 
Please kill him. Oh, thank you. Oh, this was so annoying. Just this manon will be really annoying. Hope she doesn't proc that much. Okay, cleanse. Um, cleanse this. Maybe shouldn't cleanse it, you know. Maybe should save my S3 for something else. Sorry, my voice. I mean, not my voice, but I'm kind of quiet because family sleeps just maybe two meters from me. So I need to be kind of quiet. Okay. Okay, she has S3 again. Anyways, let's just cut this part. It's going to be really um, long. Or not. Let's just heal up. Okay, a lot of damage from uh, this manon. <clears throat> okay, okay, let's just cut this part. <laughs> okay, guys, next attack is against Dark Cassandra, Tianlang, and Theomars, and I'll be using uh, Miang like this with Sonia. I mean, Puranel, Cookie, and Sonia. Let's go. Uh, first off to kill, it's Tianlang, and then Sonia, and then solo this uh, this guy. Okay, let's boost. Uh, kill Tianlang. Nice. Maybe kill Sonia. Nice. Uh, let's Oblivion. S1. And I think we should kill this one. Nice. GG. Okay, guys, next attack is against Shazam, Kapsu, and Theomars. And I'll be using this team. So it's Mirine, uh, Dova, and uh, Julie. Let me actually check. Okay, 2, 15, 107. Okay, uh, should be good, good. So basically the plan is we play the song, we boost Julie and Julie kills everyone. Uh, yep, that's the main plan. They're really slow. I'm really scared. Um, let's see. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that boosts us a little bit. Can we do something? Ooh, nice. Can we stun? Nice done, S1. Yes, oh, this uh, Shazam is really freaking um, tanky. Okay, S1. Yes, okay, glancing, really good. Boost. S1. Yes, Play the song, try to stun him, really nice. S1, yes, don't proc. Oh my goodness, he proc'd. Don't, don't proc again. Mm. Play the song. They should kill, I think. Yeah, nice. Oh man. So next attack, I wasn't home. I fortunately I'm second shift, so I work from uh, half of 3 p.m. till uh, 23 p.m. So yeah, every attack was at work. Anyways, over here we are up against more Salah and uh, Tessarion. Uh, this is the after patch guys so <laughs> i'll be testing windy and thesarion and uh, who else did i do, did i use i have no idea actually but anyways i just use baller team just to be um secure and over here you would m most of the time you would see windy over here instead of the um camilla but in my opinion camilla it's free win <laughs> because she cleanses and she uh, freezes and uh, she does uh, a lot of stuff man and yeah i still did not fix her <laughs> i need to do this as soon as possible but anyways uh the concept of this team it's just to kill salah actually because he's really annoying look at this look at this and <laughs> look at my team on the first <laughs> wave <laughs> <laughs> luckily this helena it's only oblivion so that doesn't matter that much i went for freeze onto Salah <clears throat> and after cleansing uh, our uh, Bulwark will get a turn and I really want to kill him because he's really really annoying <laughs> right and uh, we still don't see the three turn uh, Oblivion but still his damage mitigation got uh, less I think 10% less yeah so he, he will take more damage uh, than he used to be 
which is kind of, you know, not big of a buff. People, some people say it's buff, some people say it's nerf, but I'd say it's kind of a nerf, maybe a little bit. It's really weird. We still need to play around with a Tessarion and figure uh, figure out uh, what is it. Is it a nerf? Is it a buff? So yeah. Anyways, after killing this guy, boop. Uh, it's just auto. Um, more, it's really uh, not that good. Uh, and yeah, he, he will just die just in a bit. And next attack was against Sylvia, Byungchul and Tessarion, really OP team in, in my opinion. Mm, I know you can bring this kind of team that I bring, uh, it's Tessarion with Riley and Rika, uh, these are the runes. And of course Rika and Tessarion and everybody it's a minus fire, uh, because this guy can hit you very very hard. Uh, Rika is uh, here only for... And I was li really lucky that I didn't get, um, yeah, that I didn't get uh, stripped by this uh, Byungchul. Anyways, I just went for uh, her, and really important to Oblivion both of them. But in my opinion, I should uh, maybe go on for uh, how it's called the maybe go on for S1 on Sylvia just to kill her as soon as possible. Because if she procs out of it, I mean she won't do anything. But still, all of those debuffs would, would have gone, you know, and it's gonna be another round. And I got really lucky procs. Uh, and yeah, <clears throat> over here just, uh, I think I went for S2, yep, just to protect my rally. And Rika, of course, just there to control uh, everyone and uh, give dots and uh, yeah, that's it. Basically, her S1 uh, nerf was really huge, actually. I don't really get to do much of those. Um, sleep, and then another churn, sleep, another churn. <laughs> it's everything because of freaking Laura. I said it be before the uh, previous patch, or previous, previous patch, that uh, every unit will get nerfed because of freaking Laura. She's really OP, man. And, and they nerfed every single unit. Uh, I know that her S1 was crazy crazy good but still I think that her um, S1 was unique and really fun when you, when she procs like 3 turns <laughs> that was crazy man but yeah another win nice okay so uh, squad 0 decided to use their um, Miang Cichlid uh, Asher team I'm not sure if this was uh, a backliner or they just switched defenses but anyways I was using uh, the old team and let's see how this uh, windy plays out uh, he's on tick uh, 5 and tetra on t5 as well um, yeah let's see how, how this plays out man uh, I mean I tested the freaking uh, the windy out and I'm not sure he's not that bad man like uh i f uh, he feels look at this <laughs> he takes a lot of damage but everybody else gets a shield which is kind of really weird you know um it's like i'm getting attacked but your guys are getting protected what the heck <laughs> <coughs> but still i would say that windy it's really op he's still really good i went for s2 over here because i don't want uh, to get cleansed <laughs> and i wasn't really said uh like I cannot uh, be uh, hoping that I can uh, proc or just kill the Miang and they got another proc, which is really, really annoying. Anyways, what uh, what was I saying? He's still good and he still is really, really good uh, as a four star. Uh, I mean, Windy will be there for, for a long time. I mean, uh, he's still being used against Karkanos, I would say. Not really sure what my teams uh, were using against Karkanos, but still, I think uh, <clears throat> even Karkano attacking Windy, uh, even before the patch, he, he would go through the shields, so that didn't do much. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> as you can see over here, Windy is doing his job. Like he, he took some damage, but if you have a little bit tanky, win tankier Windy than before, I think I don't really have but still um 
he cannot die turn one because even with Miang on their team, uh, Miang will never go win this if if uh, if he isn't uh, one HP or something like that. So yeah, um, they kind of really re refuse to die. <laughs> By the way, I knew that this cyclid was uh, swift, so I went with the just tanky team. And uh, yeah, this leaves uh, Cichlid alone and it's a GG. Next attack was uh, this defense and I, I think that this wasn't really fast. Uh, and I saw that my guildy used the same team, so I was like, yep, yeah, let's use the same team. Let's not calculate uh, everything uh, and use the Bruiser team and then lose. <laughs> uh, I just went with the Lucian team and, you know, uh, as it goes. Uh, you just boost and, and then uh, another boost and S3 and uh, yeah everything died except him and that's fine he's just useless being alone <laughs> nice uh, GG another attack was again against uh, Bio Asher so the team is like this Dova, uh, Miang, Lucian and uh, yeah you just went in and kill everybody kill everybody <laughs> Okay, and then just S3, and uh, yeah, everybody is dead. Nice GG. Okay, since we were 1v1 against Squad Zero, Raksas was having fun with his uh, LD toys and some weird uh, defenses. And this was, uh, yeah, the eighth attack. And uh, he used uh, this defense, and I was like, wait, this more is not really, probably not really tanky. Uh, like, it's of course not tanky at all. And I think Bernard, Galleon, Julie would kill more and this guy. And these are the runes uh, on Bernard, Galleon and Julie. Uh, and yeah, you just go in, boost and then uh, S3 to gain attack, attack buff on Julie. And you hope, yep, and over here more wasn't on wheel. So that, that was uh, really nice. And we got the defense break that secures us uh, probably the two kills and uh, that leaves this guy alone and that's completely fine since we are one with uh, three we won and uh, that uh, leaves him alone and he dies like nothing <laughs> nice gg and this was the last attack it was their uh, second base i think it was really really back uh back line and i just decided to use the old team which is jultan on triple revenge big or like this really fast on wheel and elusia uh, everybody is actually on tick 5 except Jultan, he's just uh, just a tank and just here to revenge a lot of the, the turns. So anyways, I just went uh, for S2 uh, buff and then I was thinking about who do I sleep, this guy or uh, Ludo, so I went for Ludo. And, <clears throat> and basically uh, over here, I wasn't again sure who do I go, wh what do I do, you know. And I went for uh, Siri <clears throat> and S3 to prolong these defense breaks and a really nice, uh, how it's called, really nice heal block, but we didn't get, uh, uh, how it's called, she procced anyway, yeah. And she killed herself and Ludo went ham, I think. Yeah, not now, but <laughs> the next turn, I think. Okay, just froze. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Okay, no, not actually. Just two turns. <laughs> I was kind of scared. I just went for S3. Just die, man. Just die. <laughs> and uh, easily you can auto <clears throat> and chill out. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And yeah, this is it, guys. 10 out of 10. I was really happy with my uh, swords. Uh, I know that some of the offenses are like with info, but... I always say this, if you have info and uh, you can actually, oh yeah, this is the new hood and you have info, you can cleave. Uh, there are some occasions then people uh, change their units to, uh, from Swift to, to to Bio and stuff like that, but that usually happens at the, at the end of the season when Siege is really, really important. And over here, I don't think it was really important, you know, who ended up in the second place, but still, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the new hood. You can always over, always over here see 
or the win percentage, which is which is really nice. Your defense win rate, uh, offense win rate, and over here how much uh, monsters you got left, which is really nice. I really like the the contours that are indicating the siege needs improvements, and I love this man. I I really love this because uh, you will you were always going like, okay, I have this this amount of. Uh, attacks here this amount of attacks there uh, and let's see on uh, SWGT how how is my win rate but I would love if they could implement on every single siege that you did in not only that guild but in every single guild that you change because you know me I would change like five guilds in one season so yeah <laughs> uh, I would never know my win rate <laughs> anyways uh, let's see <clears throat> How it ended and yeah this is basically everybody's it's purely 1v1 against us and squad zero it's kind of it kind of sucks that we needed to 1v1 uh i really prefer 1v1v1 because it brings more energy more entertainment but over here when it's 1v1 it's just spend your swords and uh, one will end up second place one is third place and uh, the third guild We'll just have fun and yeah, let's see the end map and let's see how how this ended. And the siege has ended. Fortunately, we lost the siege, but you know, Squad Zero has a really good roster at the moment. And uh, yeah, I think they will end that end up uh, top four for sure. And this was the end map. Yeah, we got 600, uh, 6,800 points and yeah, they <laughs> flew us. Uh, yeah, uh, let's open up the rewards. Uh, this is my box. I think I got uh, some crystals, uh, some unknown scrolls, uh, and yeah, a bunch of these uh, pieces. <laughs> nothing crazy, nothing crazy. And uh, I really love this AXP reward. <laughs> really nice that you can get even more rewards by playing High Siege. And anyways, uh, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, Siege video. If you liked it, uh, you can like the video and subscribe. Uh, I realized that I have really a uh, small amount of subscribers and uh, uh, a lot of people are watching so yeah if you could if you could subscribe that would be awesome and would help me uh, and my family yeah <laughs> thank you guys and I'll see you next time bye bye